Hey guys, Todd here, vlog time. Right, uh, recording this early this week, it's Wednesday because uh, my good lady is back from the States tomorrow, so I will not have time to be doing this kind of stuff. Um, right, what's been going on? First off, what have I been vaping with for the past wee while? Uh, sorry, nothing exciting, goose juice. Um, yeah, goose juice, oh and still Muffin Man. But I'm sick of Muffin Man already. Um, but it is nice, but uh, I don't know. Um, I'm just getting a wee bit there out of it. Uh, Device-wise, um, I have, well, for the past couple of days, I have been using this. My finally built SX350 Jai Twin 18650 Renegade X from Veritube. I built this. Um, Yes, it looks terrible inside, but uh, I built it with my own little hands. Um, listen, I've, I've recorded the video. Well, I recorded the video in stages uh, when I was building it. And um, had some mistakes along the way, which are all in the video. Uh, I've not hidden anything. Uh, the only thing is that uh, the keystone sled that I had to buy is is pushing up against the, the 510, uh, sprung-loaded 510. Uh, so I've sent an email off to Perry at Veritube to see if I can get a genuine board uh, sled again because it sits lower down uh, so I get more space so just one of these things um, I did get uh, oh can you see it there right in the background there beside the oscilloscope I got a, a new soldering station uh, I got that from Maplin's 60 watt <sighs> What a difference, what a difference. Being able to select the temperature, uh, it just made soldering, soldering, uh, so much more easier. And um, just, I can actually take that board to, I can take the mod to bits and put it back together in the blink of an eye now. And uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Um, Hopefully when the video goes live and people watch it, they don't go, I saw that. Um, honestly, there, there's videos on YouTube that will teach you how to, to solder properly. Um, Flux was my best friend. A decent solder iron, a decent one, uh, it just and a decent tip as well. Just It's the difference between fumbling for hours and doing it in an hour. Uh, that, that's the difference. Um, what else can I tell you about the switches? Um, I mean, that was my big fupa uh, was cooking the switches so that the click would go out of them. Um, but with the new solder iron, I was able to get that done in too sweet, no time at all. It's uh, so well chuffed. Um, it does vape, it does vape, but uh, no issues with it at all uh, I have, did I show you that did I show you that that's my uh, Duda tank uh, bell cap for the, the hurricane is that the hurricane I can't remember now yes it is the hurricane uh, that's the bell cap for it and that's um signature mods drip tip there that I've been using a lot recently uh, I'm so happy with this so so happy um, like I say in the video, I just I, I, see if you could get this kit in the UK. I mean, it's, it was like ninety five pounds, including the chip. Don't know what to tell you. I just wish people had that. By the time you buy, buy it from the states, shipping costs, import duty, and whatnot. Uh, nah, uh, but. It's just one of these things. Uh, I love it. Absolutely, I love it. Um, I've been using... Uh, thank you to Lee. Uh, there's a guy that's... Uh, well, in short, there's a guy that's making a mod. And he said, have you seen this before? And it was like a drop kit uh, for the Tefun GT2. Now, I never had the GT2, so I did a trade. And I traded uh, 
for this, the GT2. And I've been using this on my Minion mod. And, and I think that looks pretty funky, actually. I do like that. Flavor-wise, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, at first, I've been vaping the Tefan, the Uber to, and the Hurricane, having all three of them and with the same juice and the same kind of build, same wattage, and and there's not much between them. I mean, the Uber to for me, is just ahead, then the Hurricane. Then the tea fun, but that I will put this in silent because I know it upsets people. Um, there we go. I'm really sorry, <laughs> uh, but but that's just me. That's how I'm finding it. Um, personally, I think it's bloody ugly. I do. I, I I think it's ugly. I think it looks nice on this device, but that just I'm. It was the same with the scrape. The scrape isn't. Excellent device. Um, so is the Tefan. They're both really good devices, but aesthetically, for me, eh, not, not, not really my cup of tea. Um, not bad though. Not bad. Um, I've also been vaping with. Well, this just arrived. This arrived, um, and I've got a battery in here. No, I've not. Come to daddy. Right. Um, let's get a battery in here and show you this. Now, Limelight Mechanics. Uh, I've reviewed Limelight Mechanics stuff in the past, the pipes. Um, and they're made oh so well. They really are. They're beautiful devices. Uh, the guys take so much pride in what they do. Um, just beautiful. Really are beautiful. Uh, I did get... And I bought this. I bought this second hand. Um, I got the you know the box by Limelight, um, and they sent me all the sleeves on for it. I was so chuffed, uh, so chuffed. Um, but I put a photo. Actually, I forgot. What did I do with it? I think they're here somewhere. No. Arse! <laughs> what are they doing them? Oh, here we go. Right. Now, I had a few of these already. But uh, they've sent me the rest on, and so you've got the like materials, like a, a suede going on there. Uh, there's a carrot for those people that like carrots. You know how much I like carrot coloured stuff. Um, that one you've seen. That one was the one I had already. There's like a, there's like a, a leatherette, leather. Um, another wooden panel one. That's really nice. And this is like, almost like a, a slate. Um, just, it makes, I never realised there was only a hundred of these mods made, uh, so it's a bit la di da. Um, and if you if you do have one, if you want any of these covers, then go along to the Limelight Mechanics page and you can pick them up. But uh, it does kind of transform the mod and it makes it really really pretty. It was really really pretty to begin with, but there you go. Now they did send me and let's find a tank. Let's have the the Uber Toot. Still desperately waiting to get an Uber 2 V2, like everybody else. Uh, so this is the new Limelight's mechanics. This is the pylon. Uh, this is a couple of hundred quid this costs. Depending uh, the... 
Uh, this is the SX351 and there's a DNA41. You pay a bit more for the SX350. Um, but it's pretty sweet. Now, a lot of people have asked me about these corners. Um, now, yes, they are sharp. They're not sharp, but, you know, if you put a lot of weight on it, it's sore. Um, it, it's not sharp in the edges here. It's just on the four points that it's a little bit on the sharp side. Now, uh, yes, not a fan of that, but the way you vape with it, you know, if you, you vape in it like that, you're not touching the corners or if you vape like that you're not touching the you don't actually touch the corners when you're holding it to vape it it would have been nice if they just rounded it off just a little bit but <sighs> beautifully made really really is beautifully made um the the buttons it's got a bit more of a click to it than this one the the, S, the on the dna 40 it it's almost like you could brush your finger over it and it would fire this one's you've got more of a click to it so i prefer the firing button on this one than than this one um, but so uh, you'll be able to get this from Limelight Mechanics website or I think vapist.net is going to be stocking them as well in the, the UK or the EU, whatever, you, however you want to say it. Um, other than that, I have been wrestling with the, the Aqua FX all week. I just can't get rid of that taste. Um, you, you need to break the tank in, uh, which I've not really come across in quite some time. Um, it's almost like, you know, when you used to use nichrome and uh, silica, you know, it would take a wee, a wee while for the flavour to start coming through. Or a Genesis tank that's, you know, not bed in yet, it's got that taste going to it. It's like there's almost a hot spot in it. I've built so many coils in this thing and re-wicked it and mucked about with it and I just can't get rid of that taste. Um, I've even flamed the ceramic like you used to do in the old days with the GG ceramics. You could flame them. Um, still the same. No joy. Um, I've spoken to Futon and um, he hasn't a clue. He doesn't know what it could be. He hasn't had, nobody else has had this issue bar me as usual um i don't know what to tell you in that one i really don't um I'll, I'll go back and give it another crack of the whip but until i can get it vaping well um i'm just not going to do a review on it and there's no point because it would just be a case of me saying this tastes like shit um and at this point for me personally it tastes like shit <sighs> what else Right, here we go. I stayed up till half past four in the morning the other night and watched the four gents that are the Plumes of Hazard. Um, and, and I stayed up to watch it, uh, not because I find them sexually attractive in any way, but because I, I wanted to watch the, the Privari segment. You know, they had the, the head of marketing from Privari on um, and they were talking about the Radius, the new mod from Privari. Um, wow, there's a lot of people that are really getting their knickers in a twist over this one. Um, short and sweet version for me is, if you don't like it, don't buy it. That's it. <laughs> That's really it. If you don't like it, if you think it's too expensive, if you think the wattage isn't enough, uh, then just don't buy it. Um, that's... Listen, there's, um, it's 40 watts. You know, for me, that's not an issue. I don't vape over 40 watts. Um, I like having, for me, my, my perfect chip, if you like, 
is the 350J because it goes up to 60. Um, so I've got that, you know, I don't go anywhere over 40. I normally vape on a, an RTA and whatnot. I normally vape up between 15 to 22 watts these days. Um, if I'm vaping a dripper, then might get up to 25, might get up to 30 if you're lucky. Um, it's so for me it's, it's no great concern yes i could go out and buy a 40 watt mod for buttons uh you know what 180 quid it might cost in the uk i think uh cloud nine vape not cloud nine vaping creme de whatever the hell they're called now creme de vape uh, i think they're going to be stocking them uh and they said depending on import fees and that it should be about 170 80 pounds mark um, you know, I could go and buy a Subbox Mini for less than 50 quid um, and I'll get a tank and I'll get a 60 watt mod and all the rest of it. Um, now, the, the big thing that people go on about the, the Pro Vape is that it's built to last. Um, I don't think Kanger build their products to fail. Uh, so... Yes, there is a difference in, in, in all, I'm talking about P3s, P2s, P2.5s, old Prevaris. Uh, yeah, they were built well and they did last. Um, it, it, there's no getting away from that. Um, however, I've got vape gear that, you know, if you look after it, it will last you. Um, I, I tell you what, for a comparison, I'll compare the Pivari P3 to the SVD2. I reviewed those two products at about the same time, and the SVD, SVD2 was had an evolved DNA 20 chip in it, if I remember right. And, you know, the P3, 20 watts as well. And they both performed the same, the, the, but the, you know, the SVD2 was less than half the price um, it's a third of the price if I remember right um, so I think the same thing is going to apply you're going to take your chances do you buy a, a cheap device or do you buy an expensive device at the end of the day it comes down to how much money you've got in your pocket I don't think anything else matters to be brutally honest um, it's your money you take your chances with it I don't think it's going to perform that much different. I mean, there's all this stuff about, you know, having the fixed battery inside and yes, you can change it out, but it's fixed inside. Um, you know, it's going to be true wattage, not just saying it's putting out 40 watts, but it'll actually put out 40 watts. You know, they're giving you all this sales pitch and whatnot. Um, I just, you know, see how much money you've got in your pocket. If you fancy one, buy it. If you don't, don't. Job done. But, you know, don't go harping on it. People that do decide to buy it, it's their money at the end of the day. They can do what they want with it. Um, and that's that. Uh, right, um, what did I have? I tell you, I got an email from uh, a company called metrics.com. And they're going on about the, they're interested in sending me a digital formaldehyde meter. It's very easy to use and in a matter of seconds will monitor the formaldehyde levels in the room you're in. This will be a very easy way to get the word out to other vapors as they'd have information from someone they can relate to and not some institution that can easily be controlled. I, I'm not bothered about the formaldehyde levels. Was the for, whole formal, formaldehyde thing not just a... That whole test, remember there was a test, somebody did a test months ago where they burned the living shit out of a CE4, uh, so there was loads of formaldehyde. Um, formaldehyde, I mean, I think this is a company that's trying to sell a, a digital meter for the house. Uh, they're looking for feedback from me. I don't think that's something I'm going to reply to because I think that's a non-starter. Personally, I, I don't think it's something that I'm worried about measuring in my house or my shed. Um, what else? Chris Bishop uh, <laughs> sent me a lovely photo of his dog. 
uh, eating his cat. Anyway, um, bum, 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 bum. with the influx of the sub tank world and as one plus omers being left behind, what is a good mainstream, not la -de da not even upper market if possible, mouth to lung RTA? So many. There's, there's, there's so many out there now. Um, Jesus, I, I can't, do you know, I can't even answer that because there are, I mean, I've, I mean, things like the Billow, Billow the Sirius, um, for even the Aqua FX, things like that, you can tighten the airflow off and you can build a one plus ohm coil for it. A lot of them are dual coil though, that's the only thing. Uh, finding a single coil tank, um, I mean, there's a guy that's looking for a mouth-to-lung tank rebuildable. Um, if anybody's got any suggestions, can you comment below this video or on my webpage below this video and just say what you would suggest, uh, just to help the guy out. Um, what else is he asking? Ba ba ba. What's comparable to an iStick 50 watt built-in battery internal USB charge pack? Um, Once again, watch the reviews, mate. Uh, watch the reviews and uh, and go from there. Um, and I love his dog, Murphy the Cocker Spaniel. Um, so that was from Chris. If you have any suggestions, pop them below in the videos. Uh, my suggestions are all in my reviews. Um, I get asked this question so much. What would you recommend? What do you think of this? What do you want to do about that? Uh, my opinions are in my videos. I've already stated my opinion on something. That's why the videos are there. Um, so, on to the next one. There's somebody just saying uh, that it was good. Uh, this is from Ashley Batty. Uh, he's just saying it's good to see me giving the, the Vivid Starter Kit uh, a good fair crack of the whip. Um, which I am, actually. I've changed flavours. I've gone through the blueberry. I'm now on to the menthol. Do like it. I could vape with that all day, no problem at all. Um, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. It would take me a wee. Oh, it really does. Oh, I miss my menthol. I'll have to get some decent menthol again. I've not had any in ages. Um, yeah, it really is a good wee starter kit. That I'm quite surprised by that one. Um, And, and that's it for emails and I don't think I've got anything else to talk to you about uh, I think it's been quite a short one this um, I'm laughing at the I watched Dean the vaping, vaping Biker do his uh, review of all the cotton and whatnot. Um, do you know for a, a non-scientific uh, video um, you know just a guy in his his room doing a test it was quite informative um, I did enjoy it um, and what other videos have gone I can't oh I can't. <laughs> part one of uh, Mr B's Mr Bizzardo's uh, DNA 200 videos up um, I'm going to come across like a bit of an asshole here just now I think what he does for the vaping community is uh, way out there way out there the, the the detail he goes into is incredible I unfortunately have no interest <laughs> I just want to push a button and go um, I know the DNA 200's great and, and, and I know it does all these things and and you know it's it's a smooth smooth in the oscilloscope and all that kind of jazz but um, you know if you want to use a different wire, having to download a CSV, upload it into the... No interest. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a dinosaur. I really am a dinosaur at this kind of thing. Um, I don't want... I like titting about. I love building my own mod. I like that side of titting about. 
I've no, and as I said before, it goes back to the EVIC with uploading information and, and analysing stuff and all puff counts and all this kind of stuff. I've no interest. Um, that is just me. Uh, I'm just speaking for myself there. I'm not saying anything anybody else is wrong. You know, everybody, you're into what you're into. I sit in a shed talking to a camera. Um, I'm <laughs> just I'm not in a position to say anybody else's opinion and what's interesting is yeah, I don't have a leg to stand on in that one. Um what else? What else? What else? I've got to, if you if you liked Ali G um back in the day, if you go and watch uh just look for Big Jai. Jai for John. Uh, Big Jai, um, he's got 19 videos, he does 30 second, 30 second reviews. Fucking <laughs> brilliant. A lot of people might not like them or might not get the humour, but uh, yeah, I would strongly recommend watching them. Uh, they're very, very funny. Um, what else is on the go? Uh, that, that's it for the videos, that's all I've been watching. Um, no, there's nothing else. I watched Dean did one for the Evolver. He got the eighteen six fifty version of the Evolver. Uh, he he just uh, he just had a gush fest for that. He really did. Um, I did like I watched Ruby Roo's uh, the Rune Mech mod. Uh, yeah, that's a nice mech. That's a very nice mech. Uh, I liked the finish. It was a shame the finish was really bad on it. But if the finish had been spot on, I would have liked that. Um, I've got stuff coming up. I mean, I was off for the past two weeks, so I have rattled through everything that I need to review because uh, I, I just want to... I don't want to review anything for the next week because um, my good lady's back. Uh, like I say, I'm uploading the my tutorial... Not to... No. No, it's not a tutorial. It's a video of me trying to build a mod. I'm uploading that just now. I will, at the weekend, be recording a review for the Pylon by Limelight. Um, I don't... Me, personally, I'll be fanning about with the Aqua FX again. Um, and that's a bit... Oh, no! Uh, they also, actually, they also sent on... I don't know how much this is going to be. Um, the Limelight guys have also built a tank. Um, and it's very K-Fun-esque, fun esque uh, shall we say. But it's, they're calling it the Tube, I think. Uh, and it's this, this wee thing here. Let's do... That's it there. Uh, so you can... This bit here, you can close off the juice flow control and open it up. You can unscrew the top uh, to just pour your juice in. And it's got a mouth to lung. Actually, you can just manage a direct lung inhale in it. But if you are a mouth to lunger, then um, depending on the price of this, this will be a it's quite a good wee tank. Doesn't hold a lot of juice. Um, it's not reinventing the wheel or anything like that. But um, it's built really well. Built really well indeed. So I'll I'll probably show that off when I review this as well because I don't know anything about it. Um, I did. I put up. I have three, four. Five Genesis tanks. I've, I'm keeping the the UKV uh, by Jim five three two uh, because this was one of one of a handful uh, that was made out of titanium, and I was so lucky to get this that I'm, I'm keeping this for as a keepsake. Um, the other one is the 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 SB. Um, 
that I, I really, once again, I really liked as well. Um, keeping that. The other three were my three all-time favourites. Now, I put the three of them up for sale for £100. Uh, they were worth a lot, lot more than that back in the day. Um, and nobody was interested. Not a soul. So the next night, I just thought, tell with it. I put them up for a charity auction and they raised £150. Um, which was great. Um, so I posted them off this afternoon. So that's me down to two Genesis tanks. Bit of a heartbreaker, really. Uh, because that's kind of what I... I was going to say that's what I grew up on. That, that That's where my journey started with vaping, was with Genesis tanks. And I know that there's some people out there that still really, really enjoy them. Um, but not for me anymore, just not for me. Um, so I've, I've got... I've not got nearly as many atties as I used to have. Um, there's my little atty stand there. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of holes there now. Uh, there used to be a lot more there, but there's not. Um, and oh, I've been in contact with Mark again, um, the guy that made the this vape stand that I showed off in a vlog. Uh, I've asked him to make me a a, a drip tip one. Uh, sorry, um, like a, a miniature version of that, but in drip for drip tips. Um, so I'll show that off when it arrives. Uh, but I love that drip tips, that, that not that atty stand. Um, is there anything else I should mention? I do not think there is. Um, no. Is there anything on Facebook that I've missed? It's hard to find stuff in Facebook because there's so much shite in Facebook. Um, Let's uh, have a look at my messages. Let's see. Um, right. <laughs> uh, Hong Mach. Uh, probably pronouncing your nom, name wrong, mate. Uh, typical IT. He just can't help himself. He keeps sending me messages about updates for their Yee Hee chips. And um, he's just saying that there's a new update out for the SX Mini Jai Mods. New firmware, manual TCR, uh, and there'll be an update for the flask as well. Um, so that's that's that. Um, I'm waiting on the Ursa to come along. Uh, Juicy Vimporium uh, is going to be sending one of them on for me. Uh, so that's there up in the air just now. There have been they're coming from another country. Um, right. I will cover this. I shall mention this again. Let's let's put this in a mod. Now, I put an update video out during the week. Uh, and one of them was for the Mirage Evo. And I did get a couple of emails or messages about this. And I forget the name of the guy. Uh, he'll, he'll be here somewhere. Um, and I, I want to reference him because he is a, a, a reviewer himself. Um, where are Sylvian Bailey? That's it, Sylvian Bailey. He got in touch. Uh, right, I was saying that what you do is you remove the internal part, the reducer, take it out, and then you can use it as uh, you know the air shooting in from the sides. What you can do is leave that internal bit in and just unscrew the top bit and as you screw that up it lets more air in so you don't have to you can still have lots of air with that reducer inside there um i didn't realize that i was wrong uh, but for me I'm, I'm not actually a fan of it because it means that uh, as you screw that up you're creating a gap and i don't like gaps in my tanks um, let's bump this power up. Uh, now, the, 
I'm just going to screw this up a bit. Listen, I don't know if that tank, this looks wise, it's not uh, going to set the world alight, it's not in keeping with what you see these days. Um, but do you know, if I would say, if you do get a chance, if you pick one of these little Mirage evils up, God, two thumbs up. They've apologised again for the threading and they are sending me out a new top cap for it. Uh, they are going to down the line, they're going to come up with a 510 drip tip adapter for it as well. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Right. Now, I've not reviewed this because I only had the prototype and I really do not like reviewing prototypes because, well... I review something and, um, and and basically when you get it it's it's different to what I reviewed so I look like a fanny and uh, and that's that now the Narda dripper uh, RDA uh, or Na RDA um, the lists went up I uh, so you can get it I posted it on my Facebook page but finally they're all sold out uh, so people were able to get them a bit cheaper than you know uh, the final retail version will be I think it's going to be around the $90 mark the final retail version um, I am looking forward to hearing what other people think of it because I think it's a fantastic dripper Plus, uh, the guy that makes it is so passionate about what he does, and 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 that just makes the world a difference to me. It's uh, the difference between you know somebody getting in touch and saying, "Can you review my tank, please?" Um, I okay, no problem. Tell me about it. Well, it's um, it's got air holes and just you're like, you. But then we talk to mod makers that are so animate and passionate about what they're doing. It's like it, it infects, you know, you, you get into it as well. God, I sound like a right sad geek. Oh. Um, that is it now. That is it. Um, so. That's me. I'm going. I am. Who got in touch with me? There's a guy called Pascal. Um, and where's the link? He is sending me. Um. Oh, it's called Le Robusto. Um It's in France. It's a limited edition of 400. Um, it's, if you go on Facebook, you'll find Mods Art Photography Concept is the name of the group. Um, it's a 32650 battery in it. Uh, oh, um, the battery is a 6,000 milliamp hour battery and he's tested them to more than 50 amps. Um. So yeah. Wow. I, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, a thirty takes a thirty two six fifty. A make. So that's coming. Um. Also, uh, there's a guy called Gabriel, uh, that's sending me on a mod. Um. In fact, it was Gabriel that's making a mod. Uh. Gabriel Rendon. Um. He actually sent me a picture of. Tefan GT2 with a drop kit on it, a, a Rayhan, a Ryahan drop kit. He's going to send me one on, which is the whole reason for me trading for a GT2. Um, but he's building a mod as well, so that that's coming on. Um, that's it. I'm going to get my ass onto Gearbest or something like that, and I'm going to pick up um, some just random mods and stuff like that, piece of, pieces of vaping kit um, that Joe Blogs will buy or would like or what you can get in vape shops and stuff like that. I'm going to pick some of that stuff up because as much, <laughs> I swear to God, I did say that I was going to try steering away from the, the middle of the road type gear. No, not Laddie Da. I don't do Laddie Da. That's Damien and whatnot does that kind of gear. Um, I, I tend to do kind of like mid-range stuff. Um, 
well I think it's mid range um, so I, I just want to try and pick up some normal stuff right anyway um, oh my god 40 minutes um, he's sound he's sound asleep you sound asleep pal eh he's <laughs> just I think he's looking forward to Karen coming back because uh, his life has consisted of sleeping, getting up, walking, coming to the shed, listening to me and Americans talk shite for hours on end, and then that's his life. I think he's fed up. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, by the time you see this, it'll be time for you to start enjoying your weekend, and I hope you have a good one. Uh, thank you to all those people that subscribe. I just wanted to say a thank you to all those people that subscribe because, uh, and this kind of this kind of does matter to me. The subscriber count is is is, is fine, but um, what have I got? Is that ten million views on my videos? <laughs> Seriously. Try wrapping my head around that. There's been 10 million views in my videos. Awesome. And thank you to everybody that watches them. I really appreciate it. I think you're all mad and uh, I have no idea why you watch them. But thank you all the same. Right. Have a nice weekend. Bye now.